basically uh, and to Mary and Nath and Phil and all the folks from Identity Commons uh, who have helped uh, to put this IW event together. Uh, there's a lot of you in the room who I know and are friends. There's a lot of you who I don't know uh, and I hope might want to be my friend, but some of you might not, and that's all right too. Uh, as Kui mentioned, uh, I joined NIST about eight months ago to lead uh, the implementation of the White House's National Strategy for Trusted Identities in Cyberspace. Uh, I am now a federal employee at NIST, and we've been making some really great progress over the last eight months. Uh, one of the things that we did when the President actually signed the strategy back in April uh, was announce that as an initial step, we wanted to start convening stakeholders uh, across the spectrum in the country, and indeed across the world, on a series of three workshops. Uh, so we held two of them, uh, both in June. Uh, one early on uh, in Washington, D.C., that focused on governance and the steering body that the NSIC prescribes uh, of non-government stakeholders to actually lead the implementation. Uh, the second, we did a workshop that was hosted by the uh, MIT Media Lab on privacy at the end of, the June, at the end of June. Uh, and when it came to setting up the third, where we wanted to focus on discussions around technologies and standards uh, that could be a basis of the identity ecosystem, uh, we started talking to a lot of you who said, why would you bother to have your own event? Why don't you just try to fold in with the IIW? So we started talking to Kalia and the gang, uh, and they were very gracious in actually uh, extending an invitation to us with open arms and, in fact, designating today uh, as NSTIC Day. So uh, we're thrilled to be here. Uh, we're really uh, excited about the M conference format as a way, uh, frankly, for what could be uh, sometimes a um, you know, bit of a stiff government agency. Uh, you know, we, used to, we have our own approach to doing some things that we wait to do something a little bit more uh, uh, open and free-flowing. And I think it's going to be a great, uh, uh, great forum to get some input uh, for the work that we're doing. Um, a couple of things, just by show of hands, there's a lot of folks I know in here and a lot I don't. Who, who considers themselves an NSTIC aficionado who's actually been following all of us closely for the last year? Great. And, and, and who have no idea what this thing is other than wondering where the stick is? <laughs> All right, so um, here's, uh, rather than give a, a, a total overview from the start, uh, what, you know, what I really wanted to announce today is more just how, uh, from our perspective, we'd like to see NSIC Day flow. Uh, we have uh, sort of pre-proposed on the IW Wiki uh, four sessions. Uh, the first will be a, a very brief overview of NSIC. I'm happy if people would like to do a more detailed overview uh, of the strategy and some of the uh, uh, pieces and parts of it uh, at some point later today. So if that's something that people would like to really have is a, a more detailed overview of it, please throw it on the wall and I'll be happy to spend time doing that. Uh, of the four uh, sessions that we've proposed, the first is probably going to be the most unworkshop-like. It'll be a general landscape update from our perspective. Um, so there's been a ton of questions in terms of what's been going on. Uh, we had a formal government notice of inquiry this past summer that closed. Uh, regarding how we would actually establish a private sector-led steering group. I've got some updates on that to share. Uh, there's also, I think just a lot of questions and rumors flying around about different things that are actually going on. Uh, I had, I think, four separate emails and texts yesterday asking me, hey, I talked to somebody at IW who said something really bizarre that made no sense to me, but it had my name on it, or, or somebody thought it was something that the government was doing. So I, I think this, this first session will be a chance to get a general update in terms of where we are. Uh, one with governance. Uh, second, to talk a little bit about a memo that uh, the federal CIO, Steve Van Wolfel, signed a couple weeks ago regarding government use of externally issued credentials. Uh, third, to talk a little bit about some pilots uh, and where we're at with that, along with general uh, funding for the ESIC initiative and the government. And then fourth, a chance to uh, just pepper me mercilessly with questions, whatever you have. Um, I'm happy to, you know, uh, answer. Uh, and I think it's actually a very effective way. We've done this at the other workshops as well. Uh, everybody seems to have a couple questions. A lot of them are the same. We can have it as part of a group conversation. Uh, it's good so that you all get the same answer at the same time. You can also, I think, free us up to talk about potentially more interesting topics. Uh, beyond that, three other uh, uh, sessions that we're going to propose uh, uh, up on the wall, and if people are interested in them, we might actually even uh, have conversations around them. Uh, one is focusing on interoperability. Uh, interoperability is one of the four guiding principles of the NSIC. Uh, there's a lot of different views out there as to what that should actually mean, both at a policy and a technical level. And so we'd love to have a session to really dig in on, you know, what does it mean in the NSTIC, what should it actually mean in order for uh, the vision of the identity ecosystem that's in NSTIC to be realized. Uh, the second is a uh, proposed session on uh, standards, uh, trying to get feedback both from attendees in terms of what are the appropriate standard settings organizations, 
uh, that uh, should uh, should be used as well as where is there a foundation of standards already. Uh, this sounds like you guys had a good start on this yesterday, uh, and I know that uh, some of the folks from Oasis and some of the other SDOs have already proposed to take this session and divide it into three working groups. So I think uh, based on what Jamie had sent out, uh, we already may have a, a great way to push that one forward that may differ slightly from uh, the way we envisioned it a few weeks ago when we posted, but uh, that's great. Uh, and then the third would be you know, a general discussion of technologies. Uh, there, there's a ton of great ideas that are out there right now. There's, I, I, I continually say when I'm you know, talking to folks, I'm seeing more innovation in the last 18 months uh, in the, the general identity and authentication sector than I've seen in the last dozen years, uh, particularly with people coming up with different approaches tied to mobile devices uh, or new encryption technologies that are out there. Uh, there, there's just a whole bunch of, idea, of, of wonderful ideas. It's a really great marketplace. So we'd love to have a discussion uh, about different technologies and solution stacks that are out there. Uh, understand that when you know, sort of overlaid against the N6 four guiding principles of solutions that are privacy enhancing and voluntary, uh, cost effective and easy to use, uh, secure and resilient, and interoperable are the ones that are better suited uh, to be considered for use in n -stick? are the ones that uh, uh, potentially be at odds with them. Uh, or is the real answer that technology is simply technology and everything really depends on how you apply it? So uh, that's what we're proposing today. Uh, and I'm really looking forward, a few of you have already let me know about other sessions you'll be proposing, uh, most of which sound fantastic. And we're really looking forward to flowing with you in conference format and having a great discussion about NSTIC today and also continuing it through tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so I'm not out here uh, by myself. Uh, so around the room, uh, where's the guy in the tie? <laughs> Ross? Yeah, yeah so uh, Ross is uh, acting deputy, and Ross is a NIST employee who's been doing uh, research in our information access division for years on biometrics, uh, and is currently serving as the deputy for the program. Uh, David Temeshock, who's on detail uh, to the NSTIC uh, from GSA, uh, is here uh, from our office. Uh, where's Naomi? Naomi Lefkowitz, who is the uh, chief privacy advisor to uh, White House Cybersecurity Coordinator Howard Schmidt. Uh, is out here with us, and finally Tim Polk. Where's Tim? Tim, all the way in the back, uh, uh, is from this with the Computer Security Division. Tim's been uh, very involved uh, from I think the dawn of time with uh, this uh, special clubs like 863 uh, and a lot of other stuff. Uh, I, I mean that as a compliment. Uh, he's uh, one of the, the smartest people I've come across. But uh, that, that's the government team who's out here. So if you uh, uh, find it hard to get some of my time, which at least from the, the 30 minutes I've been here so far, it's hard to have a conversation with anybody. Um, I, I do want to find time to talk to everybody today, but there are other folks from uh, uh, from the government here as well. So, hey, I'm Jeremy. Uh, Kalia said I should go over my sessions one more time. Uh, so the first is a general end stick update here. We've been up to this past summer on some key issues of pepper meat versus legal questions. Uh, second uh, is what does interoperability really mean and what should it mean in the context of end stick? Third is a discussion about uh, standards in terms of what standards exist today that are an appropriate foundation for that entity ecosystem. Uh, where do we have things we can build off of where are some newer, better ones needed to fill the gaps? Uh, it sounds like I think this will probably fold in with some other efforts that have already been proposed. Uh, so somebody mentioned earlier, I've asked four sessions, but we may actually come down to three as we pull together. Uh, and finally, a conversation on how different technologies and architectures align with the four entity guiding principles. Uh, do some stand out as be better uh, or uh, perhaps at odds with the principles that we're trying to ensure are reflected in the identity ecosystem. So it was an interesting session in that we spent more than half the time starting off with kind of a, uh, a lively debate about the privacy enhancing and voluntary uh, guiding principle of NSTIC with some questioning whether it was necessary or realistic or reasonable for the government to actually demand that solutions that would come out of NSTIC would actually be uh, privacy enhancing in the way that the NSTIC describes. Uh, it was uh, a good discussion. Uh, I think the basic answer was yes, it is reasonable, uh, at least from our perspective, since we're the government and we produce the strategy. Um, I, thanks for the applause. The, uh, are you the only one? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! The, uh, the session, I, I would say the attendees there, uh, people were a little bashful about actually engaging on the actual topic. I was hoping to have uh, great shouting matches and emotion. <laughs> of uh, this technology is horrible, this technology is great. I think it ended up being more of a uh, discussion in general uh, on privacy enhancing technologies and sort of the state of where they're at in the marketplace today, uh, where do we think they may go in the future, and 
it was a good conversation, but it was a slightly different topic than I think we actually set it up to do originally. I'm Jeremy Grant from NIST, standing here at the conclusion of the 13th Internet Identity Workshop here in Mountain View, California. Uh, we've just had a great few days of discussion on a whole variety of topics on Internet identity, uh, including a uh, good amount of time spent yesterday on EdStick Day, uh, which we're quite grateful to the folks at IAW for being willing to host for us. Uh, we had a wonderful uh, series of discussions on EdStick, both on topics that we as the government propose, as well as ones that a lot of folks in the user and advocacy community uh, and the companies who were involved also proposed talking about uh, great discussions on uh, potential for uh, uh, how to improve upon the standards landscape that's currently out there today for Internet identity, uh, looking at technologies that can enhance privacy uh, for uh, the end user, uh, looking at uh, better definitions of interoperability and getting clarity from different stakeholders in terms of what the things are that we need to focus on with implementation of NSTIC, uh, and really a whole host of other discussions that I think is going to do quite a bit uh, to pave the groundwork uh, for a steering group to implement NSTIC that we hope to get established within the next few months. So uh, it's been a wonderful session. Uh, it's also uh, been, been, been quite fantastic to see uh, a number of companies that have come out, both large and small, uh, who have read the President's strategy for uh, trusted identities in cyberspace and are starting to integrate the concept and ideals of it into their own product development. Uh, we're now just about six months from the actual release of, uh, uh, of uh, the National Strategy for Trusted Identity in Cyberspace, which was released back on April 15th. And the fact that there's so many firms that are now looking to proactively align their solutions even in advance of the formal implementation of the N6 starting uh, is really great to see. Uh, it shows that the, the strategies hit the mark and that there's a lot of firms looking forward to, uh, to uh, aligning them and support, aligning them and supporting them. So we are off to a great start and we'll have a couple more events in the months to come.